So let's see what John has to show for us from his speech in the zone. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and esteemed guests. God, Bev, you're hot tonight. <laughs> so is it as uncomfortable for you as it was for me with that dialogue being inappropriate, right? It was inappropriate because of the language, but it was also inappropriate because it wasn't the right zone. I wasn't communicating in the correct zone, as we'll see tonight. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a concept called proxemics. We're going to learn what it is, we're going to learn what are social distances and how they're defined, and we're going to learn how it's used, and I'm going to share a couple of fun business examples of how you, once you know it, you can use it in a business context. And lastly, I'm going to leave you with an important note. So proxemics is a theory of nonverbal communication that explains how people perceive and use space to achieve communication goals. There are five core concepts or assumptions, and I won't spend too much time on them. The first one is that there are four zones of distance. There's an intimate zone, there is a personal zone, there's a social zone, and a public zone. We'll come back to those in more. The second piece is these zones are deliberately chosen by individuals. We're not talking about being crammed in a subway. Third, and this is one of the most important concepts, this is learned by observing other people, not by reading about it or studying. This is why it's culturally defined and varies significantly by culture. Fourth is you can tell based on distance what the relationship is in many cases based on body language and whether or not there's touch. And then fifth is North Americans typically prefer 18 inches of private space, and we'll talk about that. So what are your zones? Again, we talked about intimate. That's that first 18 inches. This is where people are really close to me. My partner, this is me, this is intimate. The next zone is what is called personal space. And this is where my friends exist, right? This is still a safe space, it's still my space, but it's where my friends are. The next piece is social distance. And when you get out to social distance, these are strangers. These are people that I don't know yet, but I'm beginning to develop a relationship, and this is where a lot of business is. Public is over 10. So I didn't even need to put the label up to tell that that was intimate. Why? They're touching, and there's no distance between them. This is clearly personal, less than about two feet. So we are now in personal space in this context. Social space, the gentleman with the baby to the other gentleman is, is over four feet apart. And lastly, public space. Now business is where it gets fun because business actually crosses the frontier between what is personal space, that 18 to four feet, and social space, that four feet to 10. That frontier is where we want to move people from not knowing us to being our friends. And working on how to do that are things that you can then manipulate from a business standpoint positively. So how do you use it? There are two concepts. One is called equilibrium theory. And that means I use space to preserve our existing relationship. And if you get too close to me while we're talking, other than Rosie, you would usually move away. You'll see people drawing away because they're attempting to preserve that space. The second concept is what's called expectancy violation. And that means I expect it to be a certain way, and you can actually control the communication by violating my expectation. So let's talk about that for a minute. Conference room tables are actually built to keep you in social distance. They are meant to be four to 10 feet away from each other. So one of the tricks that I teach all of my salespeople, when you're going in for a presentation, and if you have multiple people, immediately split up and go to opposite sides of the table and set interspersed with the audience. Why? Number one, you're not adversarial. And number two, instead of being in social space, Rosie and I are now in personal space. We're friends, she trusts me. So we leave that meeting with a bunch of friends. Let's talk about equilibrium theory, and this is a lot of fun. When the North Americans first started going into Latin America for business, one of the things they did is they flew down their big desks or shipped down their big desks. Why? Because the desk defines the space. It keeps people out of your personal space, out in your social space, which is where business strangers are supposed to be. I didn't pay for the cartoon, but it's really funny anyway, right? So what happened? Well, they got there, and the Latinos 
his space is defined more narrowly, and they wanted to do business. So they started trying to get in the zone. So they started crawling on desks. They started coming around desks. So the North American CEOs reported back how crazy these Latinos are because they're crawling all over the furniture. Of course, that came from the same geniuses who uh, tried to sell a car that means no-go in Latin America. So, you know, we can have a little credit for them. The last piece that I want to talk about is this varies culturally. It's completely defined. Remember, it's observed behavior. These are heterosexual men in India. But distance is defined differently in India. The fact that they are that close is not intimate. It's that it's personal. The fact that touch is acceptable between two heterosexual men in public is, again, culturally defined. So these are, are a very, very important message because your sense of what is the appropriate zone is defined by your culture that you learned at that end. So what have we learned tonight? We learned what proxemics is. We've learned an interesting concept, which is how we can use the theories behind proxemics to be able to violate an expectation or preserve an existing relationship. And lastly, we've learned how important it is. So at the end, a more appropriate context, Deb, how was my speech? And because it's in the right setting. Thank you.